But the problem is that the world's payment networks have been built in a siloed way because they all need central operators. And if you have a central operator, there's just no way the world will all agree on who that central operator should be. So we have all these workarounds like correspondent banking, which works, but it's 1970s technology. It's why you can literally FedEx money from the US to Europe faster than you, know, you can wire money. I'm Chris Larson, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ripple Labs. Ripple Labs is a financial technology company. We're helping build uh, what we refer to as the Internet of Value and we're using distributed ledger technology to do that. What's so special about distributed ledgers? Um, well, it's really the first time the world has been able to move value or money without a central operator. That is really the solution to the problem of siloed payment or money networks. What we're trying to do is build new rails so that the world can move value like we've been moving information for the last 20 years. So immediately we think having interconnectedness of networks rather than siloed networks means that somebody who's now in a country with very limited access, maybe uh, is solely dependent on a local network that is expensive and maybe has poor service and inclusion, can now get access to any other provider anywhere in the world. At the same time, the biggest corporations involved in global trade also see a uh, huge impact because now they don't have to sort of tie up the billions and billions of dollars, trillions of dollars, simply because they have to work around the delays and the cost and the uncertainty of where money and liquidity needs to be where they need it. We think we're in a really interesting period right now because the world now knows how to do something it just couldn't do before, which is confirm value transfer without a central operator. And that, we think, is leading to the beginning of an internet for value. So we think there's a bright line now pre-internet for value, post-internet for value. That's as exciting as the early days of the Internet of Information. And the opportunity to be part of that right now at this critical moment is just super exciting.